is <laughs> this is uh, what's the name of the podcast? As it is podcast number five. And uh, in the last one, I I told y'all that if you wanted to talk about something or wanted me to talk about something, just let me know. And I got two requests. One was to talk about voting, and the other was uh, the coronavirus. And I don't know how I'm going to put the two of them together, but I can speak a little bit about each one. And uh, in terms of the voting, that, you know, I'm one that I don't... I look at, at, at our electoral system as not so much a fraud as it is not to be trusted in a sense um, because we never know how a president or any other officer is elected. All we have is um, what's available to us, what we can see. We see the voting polls, I mean booths and the, you know things of that nature, but we really don't know in the final tally what's true and what's not true. But the fact of the matter is, uh, is voting to me is very important because a lot of my ancestors died to give us the right to vote. And uh, even though I don't know what the outcome of my vote will be, I think it's so important for me to at least uh, make an effort to support what those who have gone before me have done. And, and this is, uh, I'm talking from a black perspective, but this is like Susan B. Anthony and all those other people that were involved in getting women's suffrage and things of that nature and providing us with opportunities to voice at least our opinion of how things should be. And so I say to everybody, you know, please get out and vote for the sake of those who went before us and for the sake of these little ones here so they can at least have an example of a legacy that we're continuing simply because we have the right to do so. And what they do with it, those who are in power, that's up to them, but at least we can go to bed knowing that we did our part. Is that right, Leah? <laughs> in terms of the coronavirus, um, again, uh, we really don't know what's going on with that. Uh, what we do know is a couple of things that have happened, like Agent Orange and things of that nature that were uh, purposely done to uh, uh, destroy lives, essentially, you know, because Vietnamese people died, American soldiers died, Vietnamese soldiers died because of the Agent Orange, and they knew that it could kill crops and weeds and things of that nature. And then when they found out they could, it could kill people, they used it. And, you know, we talked today about germ and her herbicidal, come on, Leah, don't do that, uh, warfare. And Aww. it's not good that we, um, you know, I have allowed those things to happen without having something to say about them, but I'm here to speak on it now. You know, and the AIDS virus, the, um, uh, what is it, um, what was that other one that just happened? What was the one that just occurred? Uh, AIDS virus and one that, um, where people in Ethiopia were stricken with it. I can't think of the name of it. Ebola? Um, Ebola, yeah, and things of that nature. We really don't know what happened, but what we do know is that it did occur and something like the coronavirus. Uh, I'm not saying that somebody purposed for it to happen. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, I am saying that it possibly leaked out of one of the labs that we have in different countries that have a lot of viruses and, and things of that nature that are harmful to us and they're trying to store them so that they, but what if they leak out or what if they purposely get out? And again, I'm not, I'm not pointing any fingers. I'm just saying that the thing about the coronavirus and every other virus, we need to be prepared for things like this that happen. You know, Agent Orange, all of that, we need to be prepared. And the best way for preparation is to develop immune systems that will fight against it. And that's more important because wearing those masks, it might, you know, uh, put some hindrance to the infection. But the fact of the matter is, it's not safe proof, you know, uh, or whatever they call that. But anyway, I say to everybody, you know, let's start taking care of our little babies, taking care of ourselves, get proper nutrition, strengthen our immune system so that whatever comes up because it's, uh, you know, things that are happening that are ap apocalyptic and we have no idea of where this is going. So let's prepare ourselves for whatever might occur and quit being so driven by these, these people that want to establish fear in us and, and, and take the focus off of things that are really important like these children right here. So let's focus more on what we can do to prevent rather than getting fearful of what might occur. All right? So um, y'all say, I'll holla. I'll holla. All right.